Hello, welcome back to the channel. In this video, we're looking at Google Slides and specifically the presenter view. With lots of us now having to work remotely, this is a great way for students to be able to ask questions as you present via Hangouts or any other webinar tool. So if you click on the right hand arrow beside present and go to presenter view, it gives you the option to turn on audience tools. So we click on audience tools, I'm going to start new, and that brings up a code. And from that code, the students can put in questions. So just to show you that, I'm going to copy that link. I'm going to paste it into another instance of Chrome, just so you can see what the students will see. So I'll paste that link into here. So this is what the students would see when they went to the link and they'd be able to ask their question. So having entered the question, they'd hit submit and they've got the option to, to ask anonymously. For some students, they don't want to, to be seen to be asking a question and highlighting to their peers that they don't know the, the, the topic. So there's that option to hit ask anonymously. If I hit submit and then toggle back to the original instance of Chrome where I'm presenting from. And then if I click on the Q&A bit, it will bring up that control panel again and from there I can see the questions. If I want to I can choose to present that question to the group and then I can give my answer over the top of it as I'm presenting to my students. So it's a really quick way of just being able to take questions from students remotely. Once you've responded to the question via your presentation, you can then hide the question, but you've got a record of the questions that are there. And you can just carry on presenting. So a very quick, easy way, using presenter view and audience tools, you can allow students to submit questions to you remotely, which you can then either share with the rest of the group by hitting present, or respond to either during your presentation or at the end. So I hope you found that video useful. Just a quick tip using the audience tools within the presenter view in Google Slides. Join me again soon for more EdTech videos. Thanks for watching.